Hello guys, I'm here to talk to you about the book Marley and Me by John Grogan, I think, and here's Sakura Kishi. Heard me talking and she's like, okay, I'm here to help. This is actually the second time that I'm trying to film this video. First time I got a little bit <laughs> too exalted and she actually came here and pawed me until I stopped fucking and she's like, okay, come down, this video is not worth it and, and it wasn't um, making much sense to be honest, I mean, not enjoyable, that's what I mean. Anyway, if you like this book, you probably ain't gonna like what I'm gonna say. I'm nothing against you liking it, but just be warned, I don't. I really didn't enjoy this book. I actually just was uh, working and I need something to listen and I decided this is a better time than I need to just put Marley and me and go at it. Dear Lord, it was like the most painful, what, two, three hours? Because I, I upped the speed. I just... It was painful. Marley, I mean, Marley is a... Looked, sounded like a, a adorable dog, as all dogs sound, to be honest. I'm always on the pet side. Uh, but the owners. I mean... What? I'm of also, I'm sorry I didn't say this in the beginning, I will give spoilers because this is not a review, this is just me thinking, this is just me talking to you about the book. So, yeah. So, very in the beginning of the book, uh, Marley is closed in the garage for what I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the whole day or at least while the owners are out doing their grown up stuff. Um, and there's a storm and Marley tries to get off there. I think it shoes and, and pulls off part of the door, if I'm not mistaken. And got both of his paws all bloodied. And I'm like, okay, it was first of all there was a completely silly idea to put that breed of dog into a closed space. For that amount of time. And then during a storm and not thinking that it, it was gonna be a problem. Well, all I know from people that have those dogs, they don't like storms. Plus, from whoa, the things they are breed to do, it's a very energetic, reactive breed. I don't, I cannot see just common sense that going well. But you think, okay, it was one time, it was one mistake. No, they kept doing it. They kept putting him on the garage and being very surprised that it was a, a cause for distress for the animal. They even try sedatives or tranquilizers, I'm not sure which one is the correct name for it, but things to calm him down, because he was getting anxious, basically having little panic attacks, I presume. I was like, he had a very, he had a traumatic experience already, and you keep doing it, and then another storm hits, while uh, he is closed in the garage again. He, that was my phone, I apologize, it always happens while I'm filming. Let me just take the, the thing. Adam, it was you. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. Um, I was saying, another storm hits. He is on the garage again. He tries to escape again. And he, he, he actually pulled nails from, I think, the door again. And he excavated the wall, quite literally. So his mouth and his paws are both bloodied. Who thought that this was a good idea? Really? What? To be honest, those two people got a dog to for one of the things that people usually do it, and it is one of the stupidest ideas to get any pet. They got a dog to train for having your children. Do not do this. Why? 
it's different a dog and children or any type of pet and children are completely different things why would you do this one thing that i was just expecting it to happen was then the children would come and they would want to get rid of the dog i know they wouldn't but there would be the desire to do it guess what they tried to get rid of the dog it didn't happen because they didn't change the ideas but there was a time that the dog could have been just given away if things would went a little bit more to what they expected again i was i was reading listening the book and thinking why do people like this really this is not this is just bad throughout then after that when actually when they are training the dog to be able to give it away one of the things that they want to make him stop doing is greeting you at the door as dogs do but he's a big dog he jumps on you also i'm sorry by the sounds of banging <laughs> if you're listening to it he's a big dog is happy to meet you he's gonna jump on you okay you don't want that but there's ways to minimize that though to be honest it's an expression of of happiness just you i would just live with it <laughs> and control it not let it be too crazy but live with it and appreciate it for what it is anyway how do they t take how do they deal with it they start kneeling he starts kneeling the dog on the chest each time he does it now if these things are not neglect and abuse, I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is not how you train a dog, how you deal with a dog, how you deal with being a person, literally. I mean, I'm not a dog person. I have cats, because I live in closed spaces. Because if I lived on a bigger house and I had more money, I would have dogs. If I had the means to keep the dogs healthy and the space that they need, I will have dogs. I, do, I love all animals. I have more cats because it's what I can have, to be honest, because I love animals in general. I had lots of dogs that are supposed to be bad behaved dogs with their owners come with me. I say hello to them. We have our little conversation. They try to do stuff to me, like jump too much, or try to link me. I say no. I make them stop, and they behave well with me, because I, because, because it's just, it's just easy to treat them as people, and they will behave most of the time, and talk in a way that they understand. Same with cats. Same with children. <laughs> It's magic when you talk to people in a language that they would understand. <laughs> just don't just why the why is this book loved? I don't know. It was really infuriating to be honest. It was like a, a book telling all of the things that you should not do if you have a dog and do not have a dog if you don't have the space, the time in the commitment to take care of it. Do not get a dog without researching what his breed was bred to do. Because dogs were very were, were breeded in selected ways. Each breed has things that they were bred to do. So you have to have that in consideration. Dogs are supposed to react, to run, to be outside, to work outside or to, to work in such a way that gets lots of energy pumping. Maybe it's not a dog to be closed in the side for, for walls for eight hours in a go. Just maybe. <laughs> like, just... Why people keep doing this? I knew that this was a problem, but I didn't know that it was, there was a, a book out there clearly, bluntly displaying this behavior and it was loved. That just makes me think that the problem is 
even worse than I thought if so many people think that this is acceptable. <laughs> I, I really, again, not attacking if you like this, not attacking your tastes or whatever, I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> okay, just putting it out there, this behavior, I don't think it is acceptable, and I think that people that actually like Hannibal's, like lots of people that I talked when I was listening to this, and I was just going, this book is awful, and they were like, Oh my god, I haven't read. Why is it so awful? And then I told them, and just like, Whoa, this, that's really, no, that's not how you do it. I close up a talk about my friends that had similar breed of dog, and she was like, yeah, no, just, just, just leave the book. And I was like, no, I, now I have to finish it to see how bad it gets. Oh, dear lord, it was awful. Again, I had to put this out there. Video is done. I'm I apologize for the sounds and I apologize for ranting. I don't think I did. I think it was actually a very short video for my standards when I'm not when I'm not enjoying the topic itself or or leaning towards ranting. So I'm just gonna finish this. And if you read the book, I'm not sure about the movie because I haven't watched it. It might not have all of those things that I said in it. If you if you had the book Tell me what you think about it, and if you watch the movie, is it different? Does it have all of those things in or not? And, I mean, we can disagree and have a polite conversation, because I want to know why people like this. It, it was infuriating to read. So, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Bye.